in we've this, seen him. Yeah. Including a blocked field goal once that made the difference. Third down and six. And that pass sails. Oh. And, then and then somehow Beasley oh. makes the catch. Oh, my gosh. The Giants almost had an interception and maybe a pick six. Never seen a guy catch it on his nameplate on the back. Watch this. He's going to pin into his back, and he's going to get it pinned to Beasley and then keep his feet in bounds. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fake to Thomas. Pressure picked up. Reeves over the middle. Meacham. Bottled. Somehow he got it back. I mean, that was tipped 10 times, and Meacham will corral it. They'll spot him up at about the 44-yard line for a 13-yard game. You see Robert Meacham find the open part in the zone. Drew Brees throws a dart right on him. Hits off his face mask. Demario Davis gets a piece. D. Milliner, and then finally, Robert Meacham brings it in. I counted seven times. Different fingers were on that ball before Meacham finally corralled it. That was unreal. On his head. Where is it? And he caught the thing. That's great concentration. About out of offensive linemen now. Here's Dilfer back to throw. Has time. Incomplete. Oh, it's complete. Anthony somehow came out of the pack with the ball. Wow, how about that? And Trent Dilfer bought some time on that one. He had some pressure from the right, and he just stepped aside. He just went to the other side. Here you're going to see Riddell Anthony. He's just coming across the field. The ball bounces yep. off him, and then and then bounces off a Detroit line, then bounces, bounces back, back to, to him, him again. Watch this. It bounces off him. Bounces off Bailey, bounces back into Anthony. And the Bucks get a first down. What a play. Thomas Jones is the deep what back for Kansas City. Castle on the play action. Going up top. And that oh. block. What a catch. What a grab by the rookie, Jonathan Baldwin. Caught it up against the back of the safety, Brian Dawkins. To the original line of scrimmage, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, Brian Dawkins, there's no question he's face guarding. He doesn't play the football. And look at Jonathan Baldwin reach around his back, catch this on right between his numbers, pins it to his back, wow. pulls him and the football down, and keeps the football off the ground. Here's Edelman broken up, and the pass is no sign yet. Edelman comes down with a football, and they're saying it's a catch. And we'll get another look at this. Alford knocked it up into the air, and let's see who comes down with it. Oh, that's a catch. Oh, my God. That's incredible. That's amazing concentration by Julian Edelman to be able to make a play Atlanta on that. Is challenging the ruling on the field of a completed pass. We'll review the play. In 1985, to match uh, his number, that was a great trade for Houston. Going long, he's got Jeffries open. What a catch! Touchdown! What a catch! Oh my! 45 yards, and Jeffries has just enough speed and just enough lean and reach and hands to pull in a big six. Mm. What a great job. And he had to look finally over the other shoulder. He was looking right, then had to find the ball to his left like a center fielder would have to do. The best touchdown catch. Folks, it was a replacement game. The Giants' Lewis Bennett, who made one of the greatest catches I have ever seen in the NFL or any, even on Sunday morning touch football. Come on, there's no way. Lewis, there is no way. Show your grandchildren that play, Lewis. They're not going to believe it. Play action right here. Back to Lynch doing. Second down and goal. Janovich, the fullback, a fake. Lynch, Autry Ooh, chases. Dangerous. And look out, it's intercepted. It's picked off. Bowman on the ground, and look what he found. How about that? First interception by the Raiders this season. No interceptions has come to a close for Oakland, it would appear. Real dangerous throw. He never was really able to get his shoulder square. He tries to fit that one in Woo. there. 
to Virgil Green. <laughs> Navarro Bowman, he tips it. The safety tips it as well. Reggie Nelson right into the waiting arms of the linebacker. That's a pick. What a great look. Of number 18, and Daryl Stingley, number 84. Only Patriot mistakes kept this game from being a rout. Steelers spent a lot of time inside the red zone. What's up? From the 10, Roethlisberger throwing end zone. Antonio Brown, spectacular catch. Touchdown. Wow. First ever helmet catch. <laughs> Is this a helmet catch, Mike? <laughs> it's right against it, right? Please tell me that's a helmet catch. See that other side of this. We used to try and do this in practice, and nobody could ever do that. That's a helmet catch. Far lays it up for Freeman, and it's incomplete. It, or did he, he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to rule? That he caught it? Touchdown! <laughs> he did what? The ref was he, right on it, I think. Well, the Packers are going wild. The crowd's going wild. I imagine there's nothing to challenge, but they'll have to look at it upstairs. Hand tack. Well, he's laughing. But let's see what it shows on the replay. It never hit the ground. It hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Wow. Oh. 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 Are you guard bring the ball up in the air? And oh. he's oh. the field. Six oh. inches oh. off the grass. What a Unbelievable awareness. Of where the ball is, we are reviewing the play on the field. Of a touchdown. Once again, we are reviewing the play on the field. Ball went through Dishman's hands. He never hit it. the ground. Wow. Ball up now. The receivers are one on one. One on one. What a catch, and he's going to go. Nate Washington. Over the back and scores over Jacob Lacey. Here you see they're locked up. He's man to man coverage. His safety moves, focuses on the ball. Safety just misses. Safety is very close to getting that. Just undershot that, but what a terrific effort of going back up over and making that catch. In this Steve Young Tampa Bay treasure, the Bucks and Bills switch sports right in the middle of the football game. Four up, fires over the middle, and it is up in the air. Carter battling, looks like volleyball. Is it a catch? It is. That is the strangest play <laughs> I've ever seen. Careful. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Carson. It's broken up again. And is it, but somehow... Oh, did he cow. wind up with a football? I think Butler hit it and it fell right wow, back down to the ground. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's so, exactly what happened, isn't right. it? Well, Curse goes for it. It's still not on the ground. It's still uh -oh. not on the ground. It's still, well, look at that. Oh, my. Phenomenal. I can't believe he didn't get up and get in the end zone in time. And then Butler takes him out. So he breaks up the play. But at the end of the day, look at that. Does a juggling act. The Indianapolis Colts ran Pittsburgh off the road to Super Bowl 19. Nagel rolls away from the pressure. He comes back right, looks, looks down the field. He's looking for some help, throws it over the middle, and he's caught. He might be a touchdown. The immaculate reception. He scores. Oh. With the Steelers staggering like a fighter on Dream Street, the Bengals' hopes for a title became a reality. Oh, they're coming. And he's throwing bonage. And caught. Caught. No sign yet. No sign yet. This is what it was with Flacco at the other end. They gave no signal with the rushing touchdown. As the discussion ensued. Touchdown! He got it on a jump ball to Gary Barnage. 18-yard touchdown pass. And Cleveland has taken the lead. Man, this is terrific by Josh McCown. He's going to have a free blitzer right in his face, and he knows it. 
and he drifts. He holds it as long as he possibly can, and he puts up a, a, a jump ball for his tight end, Gary Barnage. And he's got that one between his legs, Kevin. Check out this. Oh, it's it. I don't think it ever touches the ground. It did not. What a what an incredible play by the tight end. Look what I found. Under pressure. Oh, and it's caught by Barber. Barber at the 40, the 35, and out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Oh, that was a pinball machine at work. That ball was in and out of four different hands. It's who is going to come up with it at the end is the important thing. Pastorini is under a lot of pressure. They had a four-man rush this time, and he just does get it away as he gets hit. The ball is thrown high. There's one hand on it. That was Wilson. Gordon. Gordon. Still keeping it alive. It's like volleyball. Wilson again. Wilson again. He had two shots at it. Still didn't come up with it. Barber finally coming up with it and makes a good move. Not only to gain yards, but get out of bounds. One of the new NFL rules in effect here in the playoffs. One teammate to another. A legal catch. And Houston is now at the Miami 27 with a first down. Manning on fourth down. Manning pulls the trigger. One on one. Lewis. Oh, incredible. Roger Lewis. A flag thrown at the 10. Lewis is celebrating. There's the pass interference, and now there's the catch. Ball never hit the ground. Incredible catch by Lewis. Pass interference, defense number 24. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away, and his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off. Franco Harris has it. And he's over! Look! Franco Harris! Grab the ball on a deflection! Five seconds to go! He grabbed it with five seconds to go and scores! When you talk about Christmas miracles, here's the miracle of all miracles. Watch this one now. Bradshaw's lucky to even get rid of the ball. He shoots it out. Jack Tatum deflects it right into the hands of Harris. And he sets off. And the big 230-pound rookie slipped away from Warren and scored.